Hi, I'm Dr. Anirudh. I'm a dental surgeon practicing at Toothpicks Dental Healthcare, Jainagar, Bangalore. Extraction is nothing but tooth removal. So it can be your front tooth, that's your incisors, or it can be your uh, the back tooth, that's your uh, molars. After removal of the tooth, uh, there is a socket that is uh, left behind in the bone, uh, which needs to be filled with bone and there should be a complete healing that takes place and a complete uh, socket should be covered by gums. So there are certain instructions that we need to follow to uh, maintain uh, the healing process uh, after extraction. So what do we do? The primary thing is after extraction, the doctor is going to place a gauze inside the mouth to he be held tightly. Patient uh, would be asked to bite onto a gauze for good 30 to 45 minutes. This is going to create a pressure and it's going to initiate a uh, clot formation. After 30 to 40 mi 45 minutes, uh, we generally uh, uh, recommend the patients to wash their hands and uh, remove the gauze and not to spit because uh, spitting is uh, uh, going to cause a negative pressure inside the mouth, resulting in dislodgement of uh, clot formation. So the patient is asked not to spit. If the bleeding hasn't stopped after 45 minutes, the process of placing a gauze can be continued for the next couple of hours. A placing of ice pack is advised or uh, uh, having a sugar-free ice cream would also be recommended to help in uh, clot formation. Other than this, after uh, uh, extraction, we recommend patients not to have anything extremely hot because uh, uh, that would probably uh, affect the uh, extracted site. And uh, if an extraction is done under local anesthesia, then definitely there's going to be numbness around that area. So uh, the patient is asked not to bite on the lips or on the cheek so that uh, there's not going to be any more further uh, complication after extraction. It is also advised that uh, we shouldn't, uh, uh, you know, uh, generally uh, put our tongue or finger or brush just to check if that area is healed or, you know, all these things should be avoided. It's also advised that we do salt water rinsing, that's warm salt water rinsing, not extremely hot water, but in a very, uh, you know, lukewarm water, we need to rinse our mouth after 24 hours uh, uh, after extraction. It is also advised uh, that uh, we do not walk around in hot sand for at least uh, 24 hours post extraction, because this could possibly initiate some amount of uh, discomfort and it can activate the problem. However, if there is any kind of swelling, uh, for the first 48 hours, it's very normal to have swelling. But uh, however, if it continues for more than three to four days, then it is always better that you call back to your dental office and then find out uh, uh, you know, what could be done about that. Uh, post-operative medication, that's post-extraction, there would be antibiotics given or probably painkillers are given. So. Uh, it has to be taken according to the prescription, according to what uh, the doctor has informed. And because this is an extracted site, this is a wound, right? So therefore, it's always important that we maintain this uh, clean and neat. So your oral hygiene practices should continue after extraction. Uh, there are some patients who stop brushing their teeth, thinking that, you know, it's going to disturb uh, the extracted wound. Uh, however, that's not true. You have to continue uh, washing your mouth, continue rinsing, uh, and uh, brushing your teeth uh, after 24 hours of uh, extraction and uh, if you follow these post-operative instructions definitely the healing process will uh, uh, speed up. Thank you.